Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Tante Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends King here. So I know that a lot of people haven't found them. And he's actually supposed to come out on uh, November 11th. I found him at my Target today, actually. So here he is from the front. Here's the side art for you of King. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. Uh, and then here's all the figures in a wave to build Joe Fix It. Here's the other side. And you get the Marvel Legends logo up on the top there. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's King out of the packaging here. So he comes with uh, Joe Fix It's right foot. So that's all we got there for pieces for the build a figure. Uh, and then he comes with this little or big blaster here. So I think we've seen this before, not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, nice and gray. I like the look of it, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then he comes with three hands here. So one is for holding the blaster, it's purple. So yeah, and then one, uh, two relaxed hands here. So that's cool. And then you got two fisted hands that are on him right now. So I'm actually surprised they didn't give us a second blaster holding hand for him. But yeah. Um, but here's Kang right here. So you get that nice blue face with the lighter blue down through the eyes. You get the nice little, I guess, dark blue wash near, near the eye sockets. And you get that more of that light blue around the face here, the helmet. You get that blue purple helmet there so that's cool and then you get that green like cloth like feeling uh well it's not cloth but yeah you get that cloth look um uh, down here and it goes down to the waist through the waist um and then you get these uh the sleeves here that kind of ball up at the end with where it's gloves are you get these bracelets they're not they're not separate pieces they're actually on attached to the figure you got the hands here purple you get that purple belt so yeah and you get the long long boots <laughs> extremely long boots and you get that uh sculpt down there it's kind of like a long sock actually so that's interesting I heard like he's going to be the next Avengers villain, but I'm not sure. Especially with the whole like, I think he's supposed to be traveling. And, like he's the type of person that travels to universes and try to conquer them or something like that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, you get the big long purple boots there or socks, whatever you want to call them. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for looks. So let's go over his articulation here. So he has a disc ball joint, so his head can move. Well... Not that far down, but <laughs> oops. Yeah, there we go. That far down. Um, up that far, you kind of get a little bit of shifting there, but not that bad. Uh, you get him to look left and right. Uh, no head pivoting. His shoulders can go just that far. These kind of get in the way there. And then the rotation up and down, I mean, like 360, you can't really do that real well, especially with that. Uh, he has no bicep swivel, interestingly, so that's new. And he has single jointed elbows, which is also pretty weird. So yeah, and so you get single jointed that far, pretty close to 90 degrees, actually just a little past it, I think. And you get 360 rotation around there. Um, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, and then 360 rotation there. And then he has a ball joint at the waist here. So you're gonna go forward just a little bit backwards, quite a bit, just a little bit there too. 
Um, you get him to go to the side a little bit, the other side a little bit, and you get 360 rotation around there. Uh, his legs could kick out just that far. Pretty, it's decent. He could kick forward quite a bit. He could kick backwards, not a whole lot. And he has a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. And they actually got the pinless joints there for him. So that's pretty cool. They actually are implementing that. Uh, his ankles can hinge down that far, really far. That's actually really good. Um, and then up that far and nice ankle pivot. So to be honest, I like the look of them. They, it looks pretty accurate. I just don't know how I feel about the articulation. It's pretty limited to me. Um, mainly because of the whole design. I mean, I guess I think they could have done a lot better, especially with that bicep swivel. That's pretty weird that they didn't include that one for me. Um, and then I guess, I, I don't know, uh, the waist, uh, the ball joint at the waist, it doesn't bother me that much. I see why they did that because they wanted to keep that little V, v shape through his like upper torso the way it is, like he does in the uh, comics. So I guess... I don't know how I feel about the articulation, but the design and looks of him is really good. But besides that, that's all I got for him. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he... Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.